Have you ever wondered when enough is enough? This is Chuck Hernandez from InsideBaseball.com. One of the things I'd like to talk with you a little bit about is something that's really important to me because I've, I've had a long career in this business and most of it's been at the professional level but a couple years also in college and some of the things that we're seeing today in youth baseball. And one of the things that I'm seeing over and over repeatedly is injuries. And why are some of the reasons for that? Well, basically, in true form, baseball wasn't meant to be played 12 months a year. And we have our kids playing far too much baseball. Not only are you putting undue stress on their arms, their ligaments, knee joints, ankle joints, backs, everything else, but also we never even take into consideration their mental aspect. Yeah, I know, I, I'm the father of two boys, and we went through the whole Little League thing. We've gone through the high school and into the collegiate ranks. And I also know that the mental part of this game is so important to a player. And when you do something routinely over and over and over, baseball is very hard. It's a grinding game. It's a game of failure. And when you allow your player to just continue to play and play and play, before you know it, we have injuries from a health standpoint. And then I, the biggest injury I start to see is a mental, it's mental fatigue, where it's not as fun anymore. Uh, you know, when kids are young and they're small, I encourage everyone, have them play other sports. If they want to play some football, basketball, soccer, whatever they enjoy, get them off the baseball diamond at least three or four months a year and let them go out and enjoy themselves, have some fun with some other things. Not only that, it helps them become a better athlete. Uh, we, there's, uh, you know, you don't chase many guys that run fast. You're not getting away from anybody too often in baseball, but you go out on a basketball court, football, soccer, you're moving. And so you're, you're, you're getting some agility, you're getting some athleticism that being 12 months on a baseball field doesn't help. Okay, I know for a fact there's some organizations in baseball that the scouting directors, they will not even draft a high school baseball only player. They want to see somewhere on that kid's resume, even if it was one year of football or basketball or a couple years of one or the other or soccer or whatever it might be, that they want that because they want athleticism in, in our game. And it's become more important to me. I, I, I've spoke with Dr. Andrews before and, you know, I can go back and he'll show me a list 30 years ago of, you know, uh, high school age and younger type kids injuries and surgeries. And, you know, there's a small sample and then 10 years later it's growing and, and now we have sheets this long with kids with hurt arms, Tommy John's, uh, torn rotator cuffs, things that could have been avoided if we would have known when enough was enough. And sometimes the best thing to do is really pay attention to your kid. Pay attention to your child. They'll all say, yeah, Dad, I want to, but make sure it's because he wants to and not because he thinks you want him to go out and practice and keep their, what's important is that they're loving it and enjoying it. Trust me, folks, over a long period of time, it takes a lot, a lot of God-given ability to be a Major League Baseball player. And I'm so in favor of keeping every kid's hopes and dreams alive. We keep them out of trouble, we keep them in school, we keep them moving towards a goal. But you have to be realistic. There's a certain difference between a lot of these young boys that play in the major leagues and a kid that's just going to play maybe through his high school years and up into college, which is all great. And his talent level at the end of the day is going to decide that. So don't take it away from him by overdoing it when he's a young man, getting him injured, or I've seen so many times by the times they get to high school, they've played in so many tournaments, so much baseball, that it just becomes old. It's not fresh. I know when I was young and I played baseball here in Tampa, uh, and we had a lot of fine players to come out of our town. But when it turned January, we couldn't wait to get on the baseball field. Because for October and September, October, November, December, we might have been playing football and basketball or both, or doing other things and getting off the field. And when we got out for baseball in January, we couldn't wait to be on the field. And, and there's a lot to be said for what that does to a young man's mentality. So it's really important to me. We're, we're, we're oversaturating these young kids with baseball. We got to keep it fresh. You got to keep it fun. If you train eight months a year and you take four months of a little rest or a little away time, it's not going to hurt that player whether he becomes a big leaguer or not. I can promise you that. There's no chance that four extra months of training is going to turn a player that might be good enough to play in high school into Major League Baseball. It's just not going to happen. So don't force it. And I think overall, if we keep that in mind, when we're always thinking, hey, what's best for my kid? 
look in his eyes and really be true and say, hey, why don't we go out and do a little something else for a while so when January rolls around, they can't wait to get the gloves and the bats and get out on the ball field.